If pawns are the soul of chess, does that mean abusing your pawn structure means selling your soul to the devil? I'll let you be the judge for that one, but it's a little bit of a teaser for my live training that's starting in just a matter of hours in our chess improvers. Let me share with you this cool game from the Carlsbad Pawn Structure. Won't go through the whole game, but it's going to really help us understand the topic of peace and pawn tension and evaluating exchanges, which is what we're going to be covering in our session today. I mean, this example's so good, I probably should have saved it for the actual live, but let's cover it anyway. So we have this standard middle game position in the Kasparov uh, variation of the exchange QGD. And you may know that White's main plan here is to play the move E4 at some point, and after takes takes to have a very strong center uh, like this. However, there are some problems if you play it at the wrong time. And this little sample here is why, well, I think it makes a really good topic to show that, well, it's good to think about what our pawn break should be. There certainly is a very common weakness among players below, say, 1600, 2000 or so. To the times, like, not really think in terms of the pawn breaks or to not really play them at the right time. But here in this game between Salem against Fenola Jorda from Gibraltar 2013, Black found a really great move in this position, where if white gets time to consolidate, let's say with moves like rook 81, h3, king h1, white is just going to be quite comfortably better with the extra space. But well done if you found a move that fits very well with our topic of setting up good exchanges for ourselves, and the move knight g4 does do that. I mean, the idea isn't just to offer a trade of bishops. You know, if white does retreat, we will be able to go for c5 and secure this very nice outpost for the knight on e5. And you'll notice how the white queen, our central majority is a lot less effective when it's blockaded on the dark squares. In the game, white played bishop e7, black took with the queen, queen d2 stopping any knight e3 nonsense. And now here it is what we would call a critical position where if you don't find exactly the right move for black, white is just going to go h3, kick the knight away and just consolidate this very nice central advantage. Like in, for example, the game between Botvinnik Keres Avro, 1948 or whatever it was. Um, but yeah, basically in this position, Black has a much stronger move. And well done if you came up with the move of c5. And we can sort of see how to play now against the pawns that are abreast. Do we basically want to separate the hanging pawns? Where if they play e5, well, they can't really do it here because we'll just play c takes d4. Um, or, you know, if h3, you know, the fact that they... Gain a tempo on our knight is kind of annoying for us, and, you know, this is obviously a very pleasant position against the IKP, as it were. But I probably has better moves than knight e5, but just to say strategically speaking. Um, and if white plays d5 is in the game, what we see here is, once again, black just gets this very nice blockade where, you know, white does have some clear weaknesses. And something to keep in mind when evaluating the pawn and peace exchanges that it's not so much about the pawns and pieces are traded, but it's about what's kind of left behind. And here the dice was left behind. I mean, that while a computer will tell you the position is equal, it's certainly much easier to play for black, where in the game black was able to get the queen side pawns rolling and you know, went on to win a nice game against his high-rated opponent. If you enjoyed this training, do make sure to leave a like uh, down below and you know, comment what was your favorite part of it. And also make sure to join Adult Chess Improvers if you haven't already where the live will be starting in a bit under three, in a bit under two and a half hours. So, uh, yeah, hopefully I'll see you there. And, you know, if you see this video a bit late, you can always at least catch the replay by joining Alt Chess Improvers. So whatever the case may be, yeah, see you inside the group.